Welcome to the Tech Cult. In this video, we're covering the top network automation and Python scripting interview questions that can help you crack your next high paying role. Let's get started. Question one, what is network automation and why is it gaining popularity? Network automation means using code or tools to perform routine networking tasks, like configuring devices or monitoring them without manual intervention. It reduces human error, saves time, and scales better in modern infrastructures. Question two, which Python libraries are most commonly used in network automation? The most popular libraries include NetMiko, Paramiko, Napalm, Requests, Jinja2 for templating, and PyYAML for structured data input. Question three, What's the difference between NetMiko, Paramiko, and Napal? Paramiko is a general purpose SSH library. NetMiko builds on it and simplifies CLI interactions with network devices. Napalm provides a vendor agnostic layer to pull and push configs. Great for multi vendor environments. Question 4 How would you automate configuration backups for 100 plus devices? You could write a Python script using NetMiko or use Nornir for parallel connections. The script would SSH into each device, run show run, and store the output in time-stamped text files. Question 5. What is Ansible, and how is it different from Python scripting? Ansible is a YAML-based automation framework. It's great for managing configurations declaratively. Python scripting, on the other hand, gives you more flexibility for logic-heavy workflows. Question 6. How do you interact with REST APIs using Python? Use the request library. You can send GET, POST, or PUT requests. Authenticate with headers and pass the JSON responses using JSON data. Question 7. What is the role of YAML and Jinja2 templates? YAML defines input values like device info or variables. Jinja2 takes that data and dynamically renders configuration templates. This makes your automation scalable and reusable. Question 8. Can you explain what a playbook is in Ansible? A playbook is a YAML file that defines what tasks to run on which hosts. For example, applying VLAN configs across switches using the iOS task config module. Question 9. How do you handle errors and logging in Python scripts? Wrap your code in try accept blocks and log exceptions using the built-in logging module. This helps with troubleshooting and clean exits. Question 10. What challenges have you faced in network automation? Vendor-specific syntax, unreachable devices, and inconsistent outputs are common issues. I handle them using multi-vendor libraries, retry logic, and pre-checks. Question 11. How do you use Nornir for parallel automation? Nornir allows you to run tasks concurrently across devices using threading. It's great for large networks where speed matters. Question 12. What's the difference between RESTConf, NetConf, and gRPC? RESTConf is HTTP-based and uses Yang. NetConf is XML-based and transactional. gRPC is faster and binary, ideal for newer programmable networks. Describe a real-world project you automated. I built a Python script using NetMiko to audit access lists across 300 routers, compare them with a baseline, and auto-generate remediation reports, saving 10-plus hours of manual work weekly. Question 14. How do you validate changes before and after automation? Use dry runs, pre-checks, and post-checks. For example, compare config diffs or capture interface states before and after changes. Question 15. What advice would you give to someone starting with network automation? Start small, learn basic Python, automate device reachability checks, then grow into tools like Ansible and Nornir. Focus more on solving real problems, not just learning tools. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll explore configuration management tools in detail. Don't miss it. Like, share, and subscribe to the Tech Cult for more real world tech content.